Hey, what's up? Uh, Scarecrow here. I'm here today to cover my deck profile on my Murakumo deck that I used yesterday to... Uh, uh, I played in a case tournament, a uh, 40-people tournament. Uh, cool stuff Orlando... or uh, Cool stuff Waterford uh, Star Championship. Uh, forty-person tournament. Um, I made top eight. I finished uh, five wins, one lost in the Swiss. So this is my deck. Um, out of the tournament, the ratio. Uh, I know that there was like in the forty people, there was like eight shadows, seven Murakumos. There were only one OTT even entered the tournament. That's surprising. Um, but like top eight was. One Pale Moon, which is random, uh, two Shadows, and five Murakumo. So Murakumo, like, out of the seven that were in the tournament, five out of the seven made top eight, which is kind of crazy. Um, I played three Mirror Matches and won them all So uh, in Swiss. So this is my build. It's a little bit different, not drastic, but... Uh, obviously, my starter is Cat Devil. Um, the biggest difference you would see between me and most decks is for my triggers, uh, I played 8 front, um, 4 draw PGs, and 4 heals. Um, the heals, obviously they're your heals. The draw triggers weren't very helpful. Um, I can't think of that many times where I needed to actually PG, obviously, because I had a lot of mirror matches. Um, but, like, it was helpful, like, against the non mana decks, like, I don't know. It's a PG. <laughs> but mostly, let's talk about the fronts. The fronts, this, these were the key to my victory, to be honest. Um, when you're playing this deck smart, uh, you don't want to give your opponent... It's about playing around all of your opponent's plays especially when you get into mirror matches. And if I got front triggers early game, I was actually happy that it wasn't a critical because I wasn't giving my opponent more counterblast than I wanted to. I could control the pace that I gave them counterblast to work with better. And then later in the game, when I would like get my Excel circles and throw down a bunch of rear guards and then hit one of these, like when you have like two plus Excel circles, and you have a full field, and you hit a front trigger, your opponent explodes. <laughs> um, these were, like, crazy good. Like, if I got one of these, my opponent's hand either, like, shrinked, like, to, like, zero, or they died. Usually, they just died. Um, yeah, they were great. Uh, it was pretty cool when I damage check them, too. My opponent would start off by, like, attacking my Vanguard theirs. Then I damage this. Now, like, my whole field was predicted for the turn. Um, they were great. They were really good in the mirror match. I would say this is why I was winning the mirror match because of the front triggers. Um, then for the grade ones, four snipe, four turbulent edge, four rat, and one CG Jamaru. Uh, for the grade twos, Fufushimi, four left, four right. Grade threes, four Mandala, four Zambaku. Uh, I didn't play, um, what's his name? The grade three, uh, I can't remember his name. You guys know who I'm talking about, uh, Musashi. I didn't play him because uh, I wanted my deck to be as consistent as possible in terms of like being able to like not misgrade and stuff. Because usually the only times I'd ever lose with this deck is if I just got like unlucky. So I was like, let's make it as unlucky, uh, as more consistent as possible. Um, Mandala is not that great, but it's probably better to ride him than it is to ride uh, Musashi. And I didn't really miss Musashi that much, so it was okay. I might find a way to put him back in, but uh, grade 2 lineup is pretty straightforward. Uh, grade 1 lineup, um, instead of playing like the Musashis... Um, I played a more consistent build with 13 grade 1s, 12 2s, and 8 3s. 
Uh, this guy, he was the least valuable grade one to me. I think I got to use his skill like one time the whole day. The others I found more valuable. Uh, like Turbulent Edge, I didn't use him a lot. But it was great to have him as an 8K I could put in an Excel circle to swing 18 at 13K Vanguards. And there were a few times where I'd like ride Mandala Lord, uh, clone a Turbulent Edge and Mandala Lord, and then use skill, buff, use Vanguard skill, buff, get a front trigger. Like, that means like the columns that were like Turbulent Edge, Mandala Lord were like 32, and then they hit the front trigger and went up to 42, and it was crazy. Um,. Not a lot other things to say on the deck. Um, other than that, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you got to play this deck really smart. <laughs> uh, obviously, I've played as I won three mirror matches. Um, and the tournament before that, the night before I played, 20-person tournament, I got second with it. My only loss was to a Shadow who double critted me at three. Which you can't really help that. But the deck is good. Um, when you play the mirror match... Uh, <laughs> It's better to go second. Like if you obviously game one, you don't really get to choose. It's whoever high rolls goes first. But once you get to choose who goes first, uh, if you're having a mirror match, you want to go second. You want your opponent to ride grade three first, so you can ride Zambaku and lock them. Um, you should play very carefully, uh, being careful how much counter blast you give them. The mirror match is weird. You're trying to play around each other's counter blast and then killing off each other's rear guards a lot. Even when you lock down each other's vanguards, like if you guys have like Excel circles, uh, like multiple Excel circles, your opponent can still just kill you by attacking you with lots of rear guards. It's a really weird matchup. Um, but yeah, like I wouldn't say like any matchup was like particularly hard. Um, like obviously, mirror matches were hard. Um, Shadow Paladins, um, Shadows were my one loss in Swiss, the person who got undefeated. And it wasn't even, like, the matchup. It was, like, I just drew, like, straight garbage, <laughs> as I said earlier. Like, usually the only time I would lose this deck is if I just had bad luck, and that's pretty much what happened. Like, the first game, like, my first two damage checks were, like, Zambakus, and I didn't obviously draw a Zambaku. I had to ride this guy and was, like, stuck on him and just died. And then, like, the second game went almost exactly the same way. I don't think I ever... Drove track could trigger during that game. So, it's whatever. Um, but yeah, if you play it smart, I don't think like any matchup is really that hard. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching.